Hello, welcome to this uh, video about geoprocessing. Geoprocessing are some tools uh, that uh, act on uh, vector layers uh, based on their um, localization or on the relation between two geographic vector layers. They are from here, toolbox, and here the geoprocesses. The vector layers tools are this one, are listed. I will show you the main um, the main tools available and first of all let's start with buffer so first of all I will uh, select some rivers I go here and select some rivers on this part here it is then I will zoom to selection and then I click on buffer I will say okay the input layers is the Kena rivers and I want uh, a buffer area defined in meters, let's say I want to say 200 meters and I want only on selected geometries, the sub entities around border then I will show you how is the result and let's see the result of what it is you see this is the result and if I zoom you would see it better You see that around each river, I have drafted a buffer area left and right of the desired extension. If I want to see the difference, let's say I get the buffer, always rivers, maybe I increase, let's say, two kilometers, and always I remain this. You see the difference now it's much bigger so I can also set the difference by putting one over the other you see the difference between the previous buffer and the new buffer what it means by dissolve entities and rounded border you see round border is quite easy you see here what it means rounded that at the end of the buffer the end will be rounded and dissolve you can see here that when two buffer cross each other they are merged into one only one polygon so it's aesthetically much uh, nicer to see so this is buffer buffer can be done on one side and the other like this or just lateral buffer I did always reverse always let's say 1000 meter I do the same and then see you can select left or right I keep it left and in this case it's very important that when you have drawn the lines you have drawn in the same direction let's say in that kind of river from the sources to the end and you see in this case I deactivate the other see lateral buffer is just on one side of the river you see this is the river and this is on the other side you see so this is a way to make a different kind of buffer lateral or on one side let's see now another interesting process like spatial join I will show I have the villages of Kenya let's have a look to the table and see that in the table there is no the counties the county where the village is located so I want to drive automatically this information from the special join to the special join and how I can do this it's quite easy I link I execute the special join then input coverages is the villages over the layer are the counties I can select or unselect the selected features is the nearest and then I will save it now as a temporary takes a bit because the, there are many villages to make special join but what I expect is that the output layer will be a point layer with the villages with the same location but as well the information related to the counties so you see that's very important if you want to make maybe some 
recreational area inside the forest in this way you can have uh, automatically which is the vegetation type where the recreational area is going to be located so it's interesting to derive information due to the positioning of the points so it's going to be created here it is see first of all it is point I open the information and you see that together with the name, the type, there is also the, all the information of the county where the villages is located. Okay, now let's move to another country to see the next uh, job process. Here we are, Ethiopia. All this data you will have in the mock website and then I want to see let's say to split lines let's see that I have these rivers here and I want to divide them into segments of one kilometer each so I select the river I want to divide into segments not all of them they are too big here it is split lines Ethiopia rivers into segments of, of let's say one kilometer okay and then the result as you can see it is always a line layer for sure only with the selection and if I zoom on it and if I enhance the signal segments you see that there are small segments that zoom to have a better view of the desired, desired size of I've ever put into input window. You see, so you have divided all the rivers, in this case, into small segments of one kilometer each. The last process I'm going to show you, it's the convex hull. Let's assume that I want to see the smallest area containing a given number of points. So let's say I zoom on it. Okay, I select some points, in this case it's villages, but can be anything. You see, I select, so it becomes yellow. Here it is. I say convex hull, a job a urban, select the feature. Okay. You see, this is the smallest regular polygon containing all my features so this is an easy way to see maybe which is the the best area the smallest area that contains all my features so okay now it's for the first overview of the geoprocess is, is all and uh, see you for next video